Once again, we're very fortunate to have Lola with us tonight. I don't know about you, but I can't move once her voice comes out. So, without any more talking, Lola Rodriguez. Home of check this voluntary repatriation, self patriation, a return to the country of the self. For the New York Puerto Rican, there's one special wave where the mainland and the island meet in the divided soul. Picture this secret place far out to sea, located somewhere between where Hurt Crane drowned himself. The Bermuda Triangle and a glorious Spanglish speaking Atlantis. Manhattan Antilles. Manhattan Antilles. Manhattan Tias. Manhattan Tijanaki. Sorry that I am. Expatriate exiled sounds shout from my lips in gasps of hat per freedoms made word as scruple, noodle, mute. Behind the death bars of my teeth, a voice that sings to the people without reply. My feet without ground, like airless wings. These songs have no place to belong. They stretch between two islands, like the hangman's rope, assassinating my soul with the authenticity of death. A clothesline with souls flapping above the invisible place between where the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean meet. An ocean within that swallows my words, that silences my voice with a wave, a tongue than another. Manhattan Tias can be found at the top of a wave sinking to the bottom, rising to the top, where the mouth of the sky will form syllables for the wind. The night, too, will form lips, mixing its disowned and desired sounds into Creole beauty noise, blending shouts with longing. El océano que traga mi voz con una hora, una lengua y otra. El océano que corta la lengua en tierras. El océano que hace trizas del alma. The ocean that swallows my voice with one wave, a tongue, then another. The ocean that slices my tongue. Manhattan, Tijana, que soy. The ocean that shreds my soul. was recorded over here by Barbara Samuels. Thank you. Collaboration. And uh, I'm Lola Rodriguez, and I'll be your poet tonight. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but the Latino world is full of superheroes. Do you know that? It is. Hey, Ruben Blades has his song about the eponymous Pedro Navaja. Da -da 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 -da. Well, we'll stop there. Kind of Mac the Knife. Puerto Rico has its celebrated novel, La Guarache de Macho Camacho. This is the title poem from my book, Notes from a Solitary Rumba. My protagonist is Andres, named after Hurricane Andrew. Is he a lounge lizard or a Latin music celebrity? This is where you'll have to decide. Poetry should be theater, so I'll open on act one with Andres Bailando Su, that is dancing his own starlit night of the soul. These are notes from a solitary rumba. 
at the Sibonet Ballroom. No one wonders what makes that guy with a little beard shine his shoes with lady spit. It is truly disturbing to watch him dancing upside down, reflected in the silver star ball rotating a disco planet above his other sober head. He looks into his own sleepy eyes in the mirror above the sink in a room marked Caballeros. He is no gentleman. And on the matchbook cover from Versailles, where he played dominoes with Cuban rednecks, with a stubby pencil, takes notes on his solitary rumba. In a better life, his lips are slim flowers fused to his trumpet by the rhetoric of his own desire. His elastic passion is wired with lightning. An orphan himself, he leaves thousands stunned and homeless. Hurricane Andres! Hurricane, Hurricane Andres! She calls him like a mother and he makes her presence wrapped in palm leaves tied with string. The blonde African sassy he dreams for the cover of his CD notes from a solitary rumba. He's played in five bands in 27 countries. The blood of several conquered peoples shoots through his veins, although his hands and feet have been temporarily choreographed to network Univision to the Three Stooges. His torso feels the surge of lost nations reclaim him, and his heart belongs to La Musica as he dances to notes from a solitary rumba. In the roar of his instrument is courage singing, mythology singing, grace singing, and the self-parody of his trumpet as a brass vegetable in his slender fingers, his cheeks bulging with the sculpture of his music, ears focused like a cat's on the Chinese indigenous radar necessary for hearing notes from a solitary rumba. But the winds blow Andres to the other side of the bar as the hoarse Colombian whispers to the Chicano professor, last call. Yet I hear him singing New York salsa in English and lifting his golden trumpet at the stars. On a cruise ship skating past the island of his birth, Alone, at last, he is at one with whatever lets him feel the notes from his solitary rumba. I was named Lola after a seashell collector who wrote the national anthem of Puerto Rico, it's true. She was one of the designers of the Puerto Rican flag. Americans can be very patriotic people. I guess if I'd been a full-blooded Cuban from a progressive Cuban family and my last name had been Castro, they would have named me Fidela. This poem's called Una Carta a Puerto Rico, A Letter to Puerto Rico. Querida Borinquen, I am not Lola Rodriguez de Tio, the national heroine whose black hair cascaded into black print in praise of your beauty. I am the Lola Rodriguez of myself with my own history and music. From snow and skyscrapers, I create palm trees, turquoise seas, and mountains. I see you when I close my eyes. When I send postcards, I can hear your bombi plena. I burn like the vivid flamboyant. I am writing, dear island, to thank you for what you have given me, a past and a future that only I can understand. You invite me, but I cannot be with you. Today, I have become someone else, a stranger. This is between you and me, dear island. My Spanish is not so good. I eat frozen Goya dinners. 
My eyes are dark green with golden centers, and I am yellow and pale, but we shall not forsake one another. Although I was not born in San Germán, like Lola, I will sing your praises, for I too am Lola de América. La patria llevo conmigo. Coffee and a little blood. <laughs> this poem's called Café con Sangre, para Chula Oliveras, wherever you are. This girlfriend warned me that we might be descended from cannibals. So I ate my smile, chewing the memory of savage self-hatred, explaining that we are a gentle people who stroke the smooth sides of leaves. And it has always been like that, I see. Knowing that it's too late to eat the ghosts of ourselves for breakfast, it's too late to drink our café con sangre. If there had been Arawak tribes in Egypt, people would be talking about petroglyphs instead of hieroglyphics. Although this might not matter much in daily life, we still have little control over our communications. Even hello and goodbye are better known in the symbolic language of our hearts as love and death. So maybe the Jivaros became Jivaros, steering their canoes through the green mountains of Puerto Rico, traveling from the coast of South America to trade the heads of pale, bald men like baseball cards for tractors. <laughs> so I say, if the Italians or anybody else want Columbus Day, give it to them. <laughs> it's too late for Iris Chacon to shake her tetazy plastic booty as she waves from the Santa Maria float in the Cologne Yule Parade. It's too late for people called Hispanos to be lisping through their teeth gracias, sucking their own marrow of Africa and licking the aboriginal bones that haunt them in splintered mirrors. It's too late to eat the ghosts of ourselves for breakfast. It's too late to drink our café con sangre. This poem's called Hijo del Sol, which means son of the sun. Different part of the world right now. It features a beautiful bronze prophet that I fantasize as an Incan prince who turned out to be this young schizophrenic gypsy guy <laughs> who would like wander through my neighborhood late at night singing what turned out to be Led Zeppelin. <laughs> what a disappointment. He, he's come back recently, so he's kind of the muse for the second installation of this poem tonight. Um, the poem evolved this way, and then later it evolved into a piece about uh, cosmology, history, artifice, and time. Uh, this, mu this poem also features music by Barbara Samuels, multi-talented Barbara Samuels, private joke. While we are alive, we cannot escape from masks or names. We are inseparable from our fictions, our features. We are condemned to invent a mask for ourselves and afterward to discover that the mask is our own true face. Octavio Paz said that. Reincarnation, golden song of time. Physical contents of the body bureaucratize time and deny the infinite. How can this fragile parcel of flesh compress the mysterious pulsation of the soul? Why destroy and fear the miraculous in order to uphold the tangible? What is grasped in the hand is true phantasm, 
look, the wind comes to blow it all away. But remains the hand to decompose in time, easily measured by mortality. What was the lie? For all of eternity, there is no heart more valiant, no destiny more ardent, no soul truer to its metamorphic journey through time to life inhabited only on the hard heated slab of sacrifice. Honor crumbles on the altar of the Western world. Your century is proud before Pissarro. The Inca stalks birds with his cannibal voice, hungry to feed on their tiny hearts, struck through by the yellow searchlight of the sun. This angel prince holds high a silver chalice, a mountain bow. His proclamation shrieks in tones of self-damnation. And to a god I pray to, a race extinct, a destiny ten steps out of time and pathless, an orbit unhooked from stars, not ordained by time, no triumph is marked for this sun of ash and fire. Dog talk from inner hieroglyphs, barks at pyramid and sprinkler long. Go home, lonely Inca, ten thousand years before Christ. Tonight. Sleep brings its naive clock of stone to a cavern designed by modern medicine men. Knowledge can be seen assaulting glory in a brutal showcase out of time. The spider crawls across your chest, whispering prayers unknown. You sweat, how unlike a god. Your quick eyes grow golden. Day throws its ecstasy of light so bright it charts another course for you to walk. A walkway charting your return to the sun. Lying in his own cold sweat, rehearsing the death of a continent. This poem was written last year for the quincentennial. This year, we refuse to celebrate the 500th anniversary of the discovery of Puerto Rico in spite of the Commonwealth. There will be a real celebration. Borinque Libre, free Puerto Rico. Columbus, you are some spaceman. You woke up somewhere else, go back to sleep. It's a bad dream. Tomorrow, you will discover yourself. Today, you must stay home where it's safe, where there are no storytellers, no rituals, no ball games, where no one speaks in Arawak, Arawakamaka hammock, Arawak huracan, hurricane, maiz, tobacco, juca, canoa, Arawak yave, key. Senor Colón, you are no friend of mine. The queen gave you a lot of muscle and you let her. Did it feel good to bloody the soils and make them ripe with death? Who planted the seeds? Who plundered the earth? Arawak, amaka, huracan, maiz, tobacco, chuka, canoa, yave, Arawak. I am the savage with the soul you never found. With the soul you never found. I dreamed about you 500 years before your loins and your flag, Cristobal, Dame un brequecito. Your blood did not make the field grow, did not make us disappear. It flows in the yellow corn, the brown dust, the black sky, in the faces of the people who are not lost, who live in the mountains of Boriquen, our name for the island. Conquistador, your legacy made us die and awaken. We woke up. We arose, we rose up. Rise up, Indio Taino. Do not sleep in the bones of yourselves. Mr. Columbus, when you and Don Juan Ponce de Leon on three ghost ships find yourselves in another place written into the history of the Americas somewhere else, your confusion will not inspire the alchemy that turned the dye of the achote seed to blood that caused us to paint our golden bodies with death under the biha tree.
My vision has a rhythm, the lyric of eloquent buds popping on loud branches, the uproar of flowers forming, the pulse of the moon in its track, an oscillating beam thundering a silver wash through shadows, the deep bass of night. My vision has a rhythm, the music of moist heat rising from the solid beat of sidewalks in the yellow day, the small crash of poverty, its trumpet blast of silence, the bitter thump of love and the swell of the river, the tender boom of faith, the clamor of fortune. My vision has a rhythm, its uproar clatters in the air, pounds the earth, the eyes dance together, the heart rolls a drum. Somewhere between the Alpha and the Omega, the love and the rage, the prayer and the page, the altar and the stage. Somewhere between the sky and the barrio, the power and the peace, the tears and the celebration. Somewhere between the hand and the mouth, the fife and the drum, the shadow and the sun, the tame and the wild. Somewhere between the sea and the earth, the trials and the triumph, the meadow and the wood, the moth and the lamp. Somewhere between the child and the man, the lion and the lamb, the climbing and the setting, the having and the getting, the turning of the earth. The sacrament, the birth, between the hunter and the prey, the actor and the play, the silence and the sound, the lost and the found the memory and the hope, somewhere between the advance and the retreat, the spirit and the street, the danger and the faith, somewhere between the flowers and the rain, the magic and the dream, the volcano and the ash, the essence and the thing. Entre la hoja seca y la semilla, la fruta y la mala hierba, entre la subida y la bajada, entre el escucha y el reclamo, el toma y laca, el aterriza y el vuelo, en una zona alta y escarpada, entre el espíritu y la morada. Entre el bamboleo del shakere y el poema final, encontraremos la paz, seremos libertados, somewhere between the leaf and the seed, the fruit and the weed, somewhere between the rising and the falling, the listening and the calling, the lending and the soaring, in some steep and lofty zone, between the spirit and the home, somewhere between the shake of the shekere and the final poem, I will find my peace, I shall be released. That was uh, somewhere between the altar and the stage, Lola Rodriguez. <laughs> We're going to take uh, just a small break, so don't go too far. And then after that, Stephen B. Smith and Marty, they will be doing some multi-voice collaboration. And... <laughs> That will be it for the night, so stick around. <laughs>